Okay, Professor Menge, everything is working. Go. Oh, Go, thanks, thanks. Uh, I'm uh, from uh, Fudan University of Shanghai Cancer Center, and my job yes. is uh, from the liver and the pancreas cancer. So it's my pleasure to have this opportunity to, to share the, our experience with the HIFU in the pancreatic cancer. So we know the they have widely used ultrasound in the medical area. So most of, uh, most of, uh, mostly it's the diagnosis and we also, could, uh, we also can use the ultrasound to treat cancer, malignant or the benign, benign tumor. So uh, the very successful cases, the fibroid. And uh, in, in our center, we use the high food for the pancreas cancers more than 10 years. And uh, why we use the, the high food in the pancreas cancer and the, only the, because the progression for the pancreatic cancer is still very, very uh, slowly. And uh, this the situation for the pancreatic cancer, the current, and uh, only 10% only of the pancreatic cancer can resectable. And even after the operation and the five years, the survival was still very poor. And for the uh, local the ones and the metastatic liver cancer, the, the situation is still very, very, Series and the uh, other problems in the past uh, ten years, uh, the progression for the pancreas cancers were slow. So these uh, two day tables we can see, uh, it's the almost almost the similar in the in the two thousand twenty and the two thousand twenty. So in the interesting interesting guideline for the local advanced disease of the pancreas cancer. The, the first choice, the clinical trial, and but not the systemic chemotherapy. That's mean the chemotherapy is the almost the time to work in the pancreas cancer. So in my center, we uh, uh, the equipment we use the uh, scanned by the ultrasound. We also have a equipment scanned by the MRI, but um, we uh, mostly use the uh, the equipment and the ultrasound because uh, it's the more available. And uh, the equipment, the equipment, and the uh, the uh, 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 under the MRI is uh, very very complicated, as it, because it's also uh, it's not in our department. So uh, this is the the whole timelines for the high food the for the for the pancreatic cancer in our center, and our center is the I think the biggest the. Center for the pancreatic cancer is uh, more than 2,000, 2000 new cases a year. So we have a lot of uh, the choice for the for the for the high foods for the pancreatic cancer. So we started beginning of the high food in the pancreatic cancer around 2008. So this is the initial attempt in the around 2008, and. Uh, because before the 2008, we are very carefully to use the HIFU for the pancreas cancer because we know the pancreas cancer we are, with a very deep organ that very soft and uh, it's uh, easy to have the risk. So we are very are carefully to do some cases, very high selected cases. So around the 2008, only 39 cases for the local advanced the pancreas cancer treated by the, by the HIFU, seven in the head of pancreas and uh, 32 in the body and the teal. But we have, we have finished the follow up and we go back to see the data and they look like it's a very successful and a very good outcome because the media survival time of this uh, 39 cases is the uh, uh, almost the one years and the complications why very minus and uh, the very key point is very uh, amazing result. It's the pain relief in the this case, uh, in the this uh, thirty nine cases, almost eighty percent. The pain relief is very successful. So this the uh, almost the first the first the cases give me a very deep impression because this the cases diagnosed the advanced the pancreas cancer and treated by the chemotherapy and the concrete with the radiation. But after the half course of the radiation, the pain and the walls and the walls. So we do the CT scan, this uh, image, we can see the tumor in the body of the pancreas and uh, involve the vascular. And uh, so uh, we uh, discussed this the cases because they filled by the chemo and the radiation. So at that time, we don't have another op uh, options. So we are, uh, try the high food for these cases. 
And why this case gave me very deep impression because after the high food, the 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 day uh, after the high food, the day the, uh, the night, uh, the patient had very good sleep. And the second day, he said thanks, doctor, very much because it gave me a very good feeling, and uh, my pain is almost gone. So we can one month later we do the another 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 CT scan. The tumor looks as stable, and this uh, situation maintained for four months. And uh, uh, the five months later, uh, the tumor progression again. So from the 2009 to 2012, so we are to use the high fuse in the almost the, our all the new cases in the for advanced the pancreas cancer. We have done the 224 cases. So in this uh, uh, stage, we treat not only the local advanced, and we also treat the the, the tumor with the uh, uh, metastasis because I just said it in the first nine cases, the pain relief rate is the almost 80 percent. So uh, so we use the uh, 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 the high food for the stage three and the stage four with the pain. So in this uh, uh, in this uh, more than two hundred cases, the data shows the median survival of the stage three is almost ten months, and the stage four is uh, about seven months. So uh, I think this uh, with the same equipment for the high foods. Uh, the the procedure the procedures were similar. So we use the prone and positions, and the power we use is about two hundred to forty waters, and uh, the the whole processes of the uh, the high food is about one and a half an hour. So they have our videos. We are. Uh, That's the, with the videos we are during the high fuse process. And sometimes we use the fusion image to help us to locate the tumor. Let me uh, go fast. So we can see inside the tumor after the high food, the color is changing. So, uh, but it's the very, very slowly. Okay. So we almost uh, screen the safety data in the 200 cases. So it look like uh, safety is not a problem because only a few cases have uh, the um, amylases uh, increase and uh, some uh, uh, little GI dysfunctions and only one case have uh, uh, the jaundice. I don't think this jaundice may be caused by the high food. So, the tumor located the head of the pancreas, and have uh, because the jaundice have a standing inside, and uh, uh, you know at the beginning we are worried about if the standing inside the tumor may be cause the reflection of the uh, the ultrasound may be cause the some uh, the desk the the risk of uh, uh, the around the tissues, so. Uh, uh, in this kind of uh, cases will be uh, down to the power to the 150, uh, 150 and uh, around the 200, uh, 200 waters. So this is the pre high food, the three months uh, the, the after high food and the six, uh, six months after high food. So, so we can see the tumor is stable. And in this case is it's the uh, locked the, the body of the pancreas. So this the pre the high food, so one month, three, uh, four months, eight months, 50 months. And uh, this case is just uh, use the one times high foods. It's maintained almost the two years, no chemo, no radiation. And this is a progression after two years. So that's, uh, you know, just the one, one times high food. So very, very successful. And then like this, also in the body of the pancreas, pre high foods, two months and eight months, we can see the tumor volume is shrink. And in this case is, is a do the PET CT scan before and after the high foods. And before the high food, we can see the FDG uh, 
the value intake in the in the in the in the tail of the pancreas after after high food and FDG almost disappeared. So uh, in the 2016, we published another data. So we analyzed the more than 600 cases of the advanced pancreas cancer, and in this uh, in this uh, uh, analysis, so the survival rate, uh, survival uh, situation is almost similar with the the from 2013 to 2016, but in this data, we have another findings because. It's called the repeated high food and the one times high foods, the survival, survival time is, is different. So because in the uh, first five years, almost all the cases, we just uh, use the one time one times high foods because uh, our medical insurance problems. But in this, after this data, 2016, we found that some the cases repeat high foods is uh, have the advantages of the one time is high foods. So because the high foods, it will not cure the cancer. So uh, this the safety analysis of the single high food and the multiple high foods is look like uh, uh, it's a very similar. So no problem for the multiple high foods, it's a safety. And in 2019, we uh, uh, published the, another papers to combine the, with the high food combination with the gemcitabine based chemotherapies and the worst the gemcitabine uh, based chemotherapy alone. And the, so very ob obviously, the combining high foods, this group of patients have uh, the, the survival advantages because the, uh, we have prolonged the survival time for uh, more than one and a half months. So I think this uh, in the past uh, about 15 years, so the high food is very popular in our center to use for the pancreas cancer. But uh, I think there's some uh, disadvantages of uh, the high foods and uh, you know, the, the pancreas cancer is uh, in a very deep position of uh, body man. So uh, sometimes we cannot see very clear in the, in the ultrasound and the high foods, uh, we use the low power and uh, the treatment is uh, was during a uh, long time, uh, one and a half an hour, two an hour, and uh, for, for some very sick the cases, they cannot insist on so long time. But this uh, I compare with the uh, other local regional therapies, uh, ablation, uh, high foods, IFU and RE. And the high food, I think the uh, advantage is uh, low risk, not invasive, it can repeatable and low cost. But for the RFV ablation, uh, I have tried a few cases, uh, but finally I gave up because it's uh, very dangerous and uh, it's, uh, it's a more risk. And the RE the, in the, uh, it's a very uh, popular in the recent years because here with the normal tissue protection. Uh, I have tried uh, about, about uh, 15 cases. I think it's, uh, it's not easy because uh, uh, it's a very it's a need very very skillful and uh, the cost is very much so much so I think the high food in the uh, in the current situation uh, say uh, have a lot of advantages for the pancreas cancer but uh, the most of the feel by the pancreas cancer treatments it's the metastasis. So I think the local regional therapy is not the future for the pancreas cancer, but in the current situation, uh, the progression of the pancreas cancer is very, very slow. Uh, I think in the, in the few to 10 years, maybe 15 years, HIFU still have a very, very, uh, very, very good advantages for pancreas cancer. So uh, that's my experience. Thanks very much.